We're in Sam's gas station parking lot and the car won't start. So, um, it is 11.43, so I'll let you know how this uh, all pans out. Thank you for watching. Update, we're gonna be here for an hour while Triplet is dispatched. I told you the beep was new. We got the Chick Fil A. All right, S salt for you. Napkins. Fry for you. We are at the Crestview Chick-fil-A, which is far superior to the Fort Walton Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Fort Walton Chick-fil-A, if you're watching this, you are kind of bad. And you don't know how to cook your french fries. <laughs> or you have more salt in here. You need more? No? Okay. You don't know how to cook your french fries or your chicken nuggets. And that's kind of your job. So, is she done with that? They're kind of, do you need any salt? No. Okay. Need to wipe my nose. Don't mind me. Well, you only have two napkins. Yep, so. well, I get to wipe my mouth now. It's all in the same part of my body. So now we're going to bless our food. The Lord Jesus bless this food to nourish us of our bodies. Bless the hands that prepare the hands that serve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen! All right. Mm -hmm. You going to leave your nuggets in the window? Yeah. Keeps them warm. Oh. They're very hot. So it is Friday, May 1st. How did I forget that? May Day. Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. What do you do for May Day? They used to have celebrations. Oh. I knew when Grandmother Riley was a little. Oh. Ha ha! Our beach is reopened today. So Monday. Monday. Huh? Monday. Oh. Alabama's beach is open last night at 5 p.m. for some reason. Restaurants open where you can, if you get, you can eat outside or 25% capacity of the inside. So that's exciting. It's exciting. Retail is the same way. So you can actually go in somewhere. I'm not sure if it's that way everywhere though. So for those of you watching this, are, is your state or city slowly reopening? Or is the South just crazy? I'm not sure. I think it's time. Mm -hmm. And sunshine, it is, they keep saying, the sunshine's good for it. Get out, get sunshine, fresh air. It's been very sunny here lately. I mean, I know we live in the sunshine state, but like, it has been nice recently. They're very hot. Good though. They're very good. Crispy Chick Fil A is great. Mm -hmm. We're we're moving here, so mm -hmm. we're lucky. We have good mm. life. Let's talk about our house. We have power. We have, we, yeah, you saw that. There's our <gasps> house. We have power. Scared the. The meter. The meter's up. Living crap out of me. The Our driveway. Oh my gosh, the meter's on the. Oh my gosh! If our car wasn't on the fritz, we would uh, go in and say hey, but uh, since it is on the fritz, we're. <laughs> Bye! So we're starting a new. Well, it's officially a new project. I think we made it official today. We're doing. We're doing B&Bs, and you guys know that. So, huh? But for all this craziness that's gone on, a lot of our places that we've already visited, they're. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for looking out for me. <laughs> They're small towns. I mean, small towns. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. I mean, it's hard on our town. But we're not a small town. Neither. The biggest town. 
some of them, almost everything in their downtown is local. It's not like they have the big box, big chain type of thing, which we have a lot of here. Yep. And I guess we got lucky in that because we're in a touristy area. So we do have all the chain stuff. So our stuff open. So, I mean like, our little town of Fairfield, mm -hmm. Illinois. We love that little town, by the way. They have, they have a Walmart. McDonald's. I think they have a McDonald's. Uh -huh. But everything, their little shops. And it's a struggle. I mean, I know the one little restaurant, Javaloo. They've been keeping it going. And the shops, like Carnaby Square yep. and Gray Area Boutique, they've been doing everything they can to stay and, open. And so our project is to bring more awareness to these small towns. Because during this pandemic, if I've heard New York once, I've heard it a thousand times. times. Yep. Um, Miami. You just hear about big populated areas. And so our mission is to bring more attention to small towns. Small town America. Small town America classified as 25,000 or less in population. And that's our mission. Because they've been hit hard. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go in. We're going to do videos. We're going to do whatever we can. So, hey, if you want to make a contribution to our plan, yeah. we go because our next trip is in June. Or if you live in a small town and you want to be featured in celebrating small town America, let us know. Our email is always in the description box. And our Patreon is down there too if you wanted to contribute to make this easier on us financially so we can support them even more because we finance ourselves. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, they've been hit hard. Yeah, everybody's been hit hard. So, I was gonna say something. Um, can you hold that a second? Um, even small businesses, we've been trying to keep up with on like a Mondays, you know, showing these places. You know, keeping them out in the in the know, so they would know, because it is a technology technology. What is that? What would be the wording for that? Online shopping is the way. Yeah. So even these little small towns, you can shop online, except for food. Well, you probably get delivered. Well, not if you don't live there. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can't get delivered from Fairfield or anything, but a job loop burger would be good. Oh, or something from Max's and Paducah. Um, yeah. yeah, so please go onto these sites and visit because I know you guys are going to be hitting the road when all this gets over. But some people are saying that they, like, we have another trip with Viking in September which we are so excited about. Um, no pandemic is gonna stop us from enjoying <laughs> Paris and the Swiss Alps, excuse me. But people have been saying, oh no, I would never take a cruise after this pandemic. What? Okay, so one of the groups I'm in yesterday, they were like, uh, you know what? Even if I can't get in any of these countries, at least I'm on the ship. On a ship, living in the life of luxury. Meals, spa. Swimming pool. Those are on the, the oceans for biking. Yeah, we're going on the river, so we don't have that, but we have food. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy to me. So, I mean, I would do that. Ted yeah. already said I would do that. Like, yeah, the world has been in quite a state recently. The pandemic is, was, and still is very serious, but don't let that control your life. When this thing is lifted, go out on the road, stay in a B&B. Eat at a local restaurant, go on a cruise, do something fun. I feel like if this has taught us anything, it should have taught us that life is too short. Not, let me hide out in my house for all of eternity. And you know, these smaller towns. I mean, let's be honest. If you're hearing about this pandemic, 
They're bigger cities. Yeah. <laughs> so you might be safer in the small towns in the B&Bs because some of the B&Bs we have gone to have like three or four rooms. Mm -hmm. So social distancing, you can still do that in a B&B. &B. Oh yeah. It's it's not like a hotel where there are hundreds upon hundreds of rooms in there. Mm -hmm. It's small and intimate. So, so you really should do that. Yeah. I mean, support America, hey. The economy. And have fun. Have fun. Come on. B&Bs can be very luxurious. We have seen like the whole gamut of B&Bs. Like roughing it to... <laughs> we will not mention... Like, like you're staying at your house to complete luxury. Yeah. Where you feel like a queen. We've seen all of it. That lady's having a little hard time driving in her truck, I think. Which one? The red one right there. Or maybe she's going to turn. I don't know so what she's, she's doing. Trying to pull her teeth out. Oh. That's maybe like she a is. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. So, yeah. Shop America. Well, somebody said the other day that they're going to be going, ask, ask the question on our Facebook page. You know, you want to go on a road trip or Everybody on a cruise. said road trip. Which I know we make it look so much fun. But it's exhausting. <laughs> it, but it is fun. Mm -hmm. It is fun. Yeah. And it's not as expensive as... True. But if I'm thinking like vacation, take me on a cruise. But road trips are But she's fun. going on a road trip. And her road trip, she wanted to go to, I think it was up to New England area. And I was like, hey, that's very cool. So where are you going to stay? And she let me know that it was at, they, when she travels, she usually stays at a major chain. Typical. Um, and so I was like, well, have you ever done B&B? Especially, you know, in the locations that you're going. And she said that she had a teenage son. You know, so that would be not probably fun for him. And I let her know that not all in B&Bs are the same. So look at the area where you're going. Um, they have places that have swimming pools. Yep. Some of them have horseback riding. Some of them, I mean, they just have a gamut. You just have to, to look and find out. I mean, they do have the ones that are quiet. Like the and, traditional, what you would think of when you think of a B&B. &B. But I mean... The one we sit at in Key West had a pool. It had a pool, but it was so close to everything mm -hmm. that I mean, had a teenage son. Really, you're a a block away from everything that you're gonna want to see and visit in Key West. And we found that a lot of times, for a similar price to what you pay at a big hotel, you get way more space in a B&B. Oh, like our room in Key West was massive. Yeah, it was really big. Our room at the Fargo Mansion. And that Mills. was um, the Curry Mansion, by the way, in yes. Key West. So. Amazing B&B. Definitely should check that Literally out. Literally a block away from the ball and any activities that you wanted to do in Key West, you were just steps away. I mean, if your son was old enough or your kids were old enough, you could let them walk around the corner by themselves. And if you're over 21, they have a happy hour every night, and it's mix your own drinks time. So, at, at the Curry Mansion. Yeah, and that's included in your price. So you don't even have to go to all the bars. You just make your own drink there. Yeah. So, I mean, that was one of those that... And so, it, it depends on where you're going. Now, Lake Mills, Wisconsin is Lake Mills, Wisconsin. It's a quiet little town. And so, if that's what you're looking for, you know, maybe it is just a little getaway. But they have the lake, which we're going to go see in July and actually go out on the boat oh. with Tom and Barry from the amazing Fargo Mansion. I love the Fargo Mansion. It's so beautiful. It is very beautiful. But it is relaxing. Mm. So, I mean, I can see going there with teenagers. I mean, but look at your, again, you have to look at the town. Not necessarily B&B. &B. Look at your location. So, I mean, schedule another trip that you don't take your teenager and then go to the Fargo Mansion. And they're right in the middle. What is it, an hour to Madison mm -hmm. and an hour to somewhere else? Milwaukee or... So, I mean, it's right there. So, even if you did stay there and you had kids, I mean, you're, you can drive to anywhere. So, let's see, where are some other places? 
mean, Fairfield is another one of those small towns that there is a lot to do, but maybe not for your teenager necessarily. But the Victorian on Main is an amazing place to stay. Oh yeah. So again, that's another, because there's wineries around there. So I mean, for a couple's getaway or several couplers are gonna go hang out, you know, you can stay at the Victorian on Main and go to the wineries and mm -hmm. do that. Um, she wants to stay at a dude ranch. I do want to so go to a dude ranch. So if we can find a local, if you watching this own a local B&B on a dude ranch, she really wants to go to a dude ranch. I really do. I really do want to do a dude ranch. Um, let's see, Metropolis at the Riverview. I mean, that's the home of Superman. Hello. I if mean, you're into Superman, they got all the Supermans. And they have a really big grocery store man. What's it? Big Jim? Big Jim or Big John or Big James? He's big something. And, and he's, he's pretty bigger, big. He's bigger than a <laughs> Superman. <laughs> so, but I mean, if you are a comic book person, you need to go to Metropolis. Yes. Um, if you are in that area, I mean, that's in the area, what is it, St. Louis, that kind of area, and you want to go to the casino, they have a casino right there on the river in Metropolis. It's literally across the street from yep. the Riverview Mansion. And Riverview is so, so much history. We're gonna link all the videos we have of these places in the description box. You should watch them. Yeah, if, if you're into that, um, what typical um, people would say is that a haunted. It's not haunted, but they uh, got stories of they ghosts. got stories. So it was the first home in Southern Illinois to have plumbing mm -hmm. and and they had an elevator. I mean, yeah, and they had really fans and their their lights and the fans. It's yeah. remarkable. So that's a really good choice. Um, now, in June, we're so hot we overheated the camera. Whoa. <laughs> so, okay, so wait, let's let's do that our June trip really quick. We're going to Durham, Durham Lancaster, Lancaster County. Yes. Um, to Maryland, then to Pennsylvania, then to our friends from Viking Cruise, Liz and Bob, Yay. and then we're going to be going to Tennessee to stay in the Blue Ridge Mountains, right? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? The Blue Ridge Mountains? So, and all those places that we stay, except for Maryland, will be at B&B's. And we're really excited about that. The one in Tennessee even has a spa. So, we're trying to, we're trying to I'm really excited about there. I'm really excited about that one. Um, so, yeah, so give B&B's a try. Give Small Town America a try. Um, again, share us. Um, this journey, we want you to be on it too. We want to share small town America with everyone. If you live in a small town, message us, email us, anywhere in the world. We, we, we want to visit your small town because small town, we want to celebrate it, especially small town America right now because um, we love small town America. Yes, so we do. remember. If your town is 25,000 in population or less, let us come visit you and celebrate your small town. So I guess we're done eating at Chick-fil-A here in beautiful Crestview, Florida. Our mukbang is over. Another <clears throat> small town. And what are we What are we doing? A mukbang. A mukbang. Or a mukbang. That mm. sounds kind of. Does a mukbang sound better? By the way, if you know who named this, where did that name come from? Well, you know, I just figured it was um, an eat and meat. So there eat you go. Meat. That's pretty Southern. We eat and meat. So thanks for joining our eat and meat at the Crestview Chick-fil-A. Cheers!